That is horrendous. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, Austin here. I'm currently in line waiting for gas. Waiting to pump gas. Um, because my car, oh my god, my car barely has gas actually. Interesting. Okay, one second. I'm probably gonna wear my sunglasses throughout this video because I have sense advice. And so if I don't wear them, I'm gonna be like, on the entire freeway. Just paid $50 for gas, yay. I love driving, it's so fun. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make the title as clickbaity as possible. Um, I'm not gonna try all boba places in LA. That's, it's just not possible. Uh, so I'm trying six places today. I literally just parked here trying to find the first place and I can't find it, but From each of these places, I'm gonna get um, an oolong milk tea with boba. I'm not the biggest fan of like regular milk tea. I like oolong tea a lot, and so hopefully it, all of these places should have it. I'm hoping for the best. I'm also I'm not gonna rate these on a rubric or anything. I'm just literally gonna give a one out of ten based on how I feel. Okay, now I'm gonna try to find the actual place. It's called Ifang. Um, I'm in the San Gabriel Valley, and so pretty sure it's here, but I really can't find it. Okay. Um, it was literally just around the corner, but there was no sign, so I was lost. I should reuse these boba straws each time so I don't get six boba straws. I have, like, I have, like, the mind of a master. Okay, let's see. First, let me taste the tea by itself. A little watery. <laughs> Boba's not bad. But if you drink the boba with the tea... And then the tea tastes like water. No, no. Yeah, no, no. This might be low, but four out of 10? I mean, I'd still drink it, but I'm trying to do a whole Emma Chamberlain thing type situation where I can drive and talk at the same time. I don't know how she does it. Probably a better driver than me. Okay, this is the new angle we're going with. I drove a little bit. Um, again, not a great driver in the first place, so driving plus having to talk into this camera slash vlog, horrendous. and. Literally every time I move, my camera literally just like starts shaking like a Polaroid freaking picture. Next stop is Wuxi Land, and right next to it is Tenren. Wuxi Land's here. This is a regular size, and it's like pretty big for a regular size. I appreciate that. Five bucks. But then we got Tenren over here. There's a car pulling up to me, and I feel awkward vlogging. Um, this is Tenren's. This better be the best freaking tea ever. This was seven bucks. That being said, I will be starting a GoFundMe to help me with living costs because this has just destroyed my budget. Okay, we'll try Wuxi Lands first because it's cheaper. Oh! 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 Ooh! 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 I love that! Really good tea flavor, really strong. The boba's good too. Okay, Wuxi Land pop off. Love it. Also don't know why there's a fish on it though. You see that? Another car parts next to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he backed in. BDE right there. There's another place like 50 Lan, like 50 Lan, Wu Shi, like Wu Shi and Mandarin. When I was in Taiwan with friends, like that, we would always go there because it'd be so cheap. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. I know there's a actual like Wu Shi, like 50 Lan in New York, but yep, that's good. You could tell the difference in the color. Look. This better be the best freaking tea I've ever drank in my entire life. Uh-oh, I got ripped off. <laughs> oh, the boba's really good. Is this what oolong tea tastes like? No. I thought the Ifang one was watered down, but I feel like this is even more watered down. And I paid seven bucks. <sighs> oh my god, I forgot to rank the Wuxi Lan one. Wuxi Lan. I give it a solid nine. I think there's always room to grow. Really support that, love it, love it. Tea station though. No. Nope. Cancelled. I deem it cancelled. Henceforth, it should now be cancelled. I'm gonna give it a two. Two out of ten. Maybe I need like an oolong tea expert to understand like what oolong tea is supposed to taste like. Okay. I'm actually gonna call to see if the next place I wanted to go to actually has oolong tea. If they don't, I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna go there because I'm, I'm, I'm honestly tired of driving already. I don't know how Emma Chamberlain does it. She's like driving, she's like chilling. She literally like has like one foot up here. I literally saw like one of her other videos and I'm like, how? I'm like, I'm like this the whole entire time. Let me, let me call them real quick. It's Xingfu Tang. Thank you so much. Mm, bye bye. They do have it. I'm thankful that I'm not drinking coffee right now. Instead, I'm drinking milk tea. Um, Cause I don't think, I'm actually don't think I'm lactose intolerant. But when it comes to coffee, coffee makes me go instantly. It's just like, I literally look at coffee and I'm like, okay, diarrhea. I'm an Apple Maps person, no matter what. Whenever my mom, I'm driving my mom around, she's like, oh, this is the best, like, better way. But we get into, like, 10 minutes more of traffic. I'm like, okay, you're canceled. Yeah, I saw the groundhog, like, saw its shadow. I can relate to the groundhog on a certain level, because when I see my, like, when I wake up, and then I look in the mirror of my restroom, I'm like, oh, shoot, like, whoa, I get scared, too. As the groundhog is like, okay, there's six more weeks of winter, I'm like, okay, there's six more weeks of self-loathing. Um, six more weeks of low self-esteem. Kind of tired of drinking boba now, but gotta keep checking, gotta keep, gotta keep going. So whenever I talk to you on the phone for the other Xing Futong, clearly lied, because this Xing Futong doesn't have it, so maybe it's like a different Xing Futong thing. Anyways, it's fine. I just won't get milk tea here. I think I'm gonna go to Sunrise and Half and Half next, and then call it a day. I'm tired of drinking boba, and then I'm tired of spending money on boba. <laughs> it's so warm. The groundhog be lying. It's not even, doesn't even feel like winter today. I have half and half. I feel like half and half is really just a SoCal thing, but I needed to go there because I'm a little biased. I like it the most. And then Sunrite. It's got it all over me. Okay. More flavor than Yifang, but less flavor than, definitely less flavor than Wuxi Lan. Good boba. Mm. Do I even like oolong milk tea? I think when I'm making above Yifang because of the boba, I like the boba more, it's a little more flavorful. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I can't. It's like water down, so five out of ten. And we have Sunrite. Ice is a little lacking. I like my drinks really, really cold. Um, I cannot drink lukewarm drinks or hot drinks for that matter. Um, I only drink cold drinks and I walk really fast. Okay, let's try Sunrite. This is the last one. I'm kind of tired of this. Oh God, it's so lukewarm. <laughs> this boba's bad. The drink's terrible. It's so flavorless. Three out of 10. My stomach kind of hurts. Um, I'm gonna, I want to change the angle for like my final ranking and like trying to taste them all again. So I'm gonna just get sit in the back of my seat. Okay. Oh shit, the drink spilled. The drink spilled. <laughs> no! The drink spilled, why? Yifang, one more time. Now it just tastes like milk. No tea flavor. It's not bad. I'll still keep it at four out of 10. Ooh, uh, it has a really strong tea flavor and boba's pretty good. I'm not sure if I like the tea flavor now, but I appreciate the presence of the tea flavor. I think it's still nine to 10. The next one is the most Ooh. expensive one, the $7. 10 Ren tea station. Oh, no, mm. no, 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 no. The boba's fine. The tea is like, it's more, it's the most floral out of all of them, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump it up to three out of 10. Next I tried half and half. Oh, that's not good. Boba's good. Tea bad. Four out of 10, two. Here it is. Oh, uh-uh, no, no. Oh. I'm burping now. That is horrendous. Um, there's like barely any tea flavor. It's lukewarm and the boba's awful. Oh, I just got assaulted by boba. That drink is really bad. I do not like it at all. I love their like mango milk tea. I think that's really good. But this one was not, it, was, it wasn't cute. It wasn't good. Sunrise definitely a one out of 10 or a two out of 10. I've been working out. Wuxi Land, half and half, like closely Yifang, then Ten Ren, and then Sunrite. Okay, so that was my boba ranking. I'm a little sick to my stomach right now. I don't know why I barely drink any of the teas. I, I like Wuxi Land, but I wasn't expecting it to be my top. Um, I think it's pretty good. But anyways, I hope y'all like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends to subscribe. 
Um, I would just really appreciate it. You could go ahead and comment what boba place to try next in this boba adventure. It would have hurt to start a, a GoFundMe. I will not be spending money on boba for a while now because I bought five and I'm only like really like one of them. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe, and talk soon. Bye.